He loosens the bypass stud nuts on each leg. The nuts are used to hold the bypass link in place. Then he installs a bypass link on each set of studs and tightens the nuts to make sure that the bypass link stays in place while he works on the meter. The meter socket and meter are now bypassed, but still energized. Now the meter can be removed without creating a load break situation. The technician removes the retaining ring so he can get at the meter. Since the meter is still energized, he must wear his rubber gloves to protect himself from accidentally grounding the meter as he works. He cleans away the broken shards of glass and gives the meter a quick visual check to make sure that it is still structurally sound. If there are loose or damaged parts, they could come apart as the meter is pulled from the socket, creating a short circuit. The meter looks good, so he pulls it out of the socket. Once the socket is clear, he visually inspects it for any signs of overheating, loose connections, or damage that would require it to be replaced. Next, he makes a voltage check from each of the four jaws in the socket to the neutral. He gets 120 volts in each case. Then, he checks from line to line and load to load to make sure that he still gets 240 volts. Finally, he checks from each line to its load to verify that those readings are still zero. The technician is satisfied that the meter socket is in good condition and that the voltage readings indicate that there is no damage internally, so he can go ahead and install the new meter. He checks the back of the new meter to make sure that there are no obvious problems that could cause a problem after the meter is installed. He lines up the blades on the back of the meter with the jaws on the socket. Then he firmly pushes the meter into the socket and checks to make sure that the meter is fully seated. All that remains is to install the retaining ring, remove the bypass links, tighten the nuts down on the studs, replace the cover, and seal the meter box. When the job is finished, the technician visually checks over his rubber gloves just to make sure that they weren't damaged by the broken glass from the meter. Well, in this part of the program, we watched as a meter technician replaced a single phase 320 amp meter. The technician was careful to wear the proper safety gear and to check at each step of the job for physical and electrical hazards. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.